Hey there, A. Hey Thomas Perhax, Al Perhax here. And this is going to be a very interest, uh, interesting workshop for you. And I'm going to take you through the uh, Mind Force framework for esoteric transformation. Just to let you know what, you've, what you're seeing on this screen, I'm actually seeing over there. So I'm looking straight ahead to my camera right here. So I may look over to the uh, screen to kind of go into more detail on what we're talking about. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, a lot of the information I'm going to be sharing with you is, comes from a lot of questions that you and uh, other individuals have asked about the uh, Mind Force system, the framework, how it works, wh where do you start, you know, what's the significance, so on and so forth. So hopefully I'll be able to answer all those questions for you and, and give you some really uh, neat tips and value along the way. So what is Mind Force? Uh, mind Force is the ability to utilize your mind intent and energy for a specific outcome. Now, obviously, there's a lot more to it than that. There's a lot more components than that. And I'm going to do the best I can to kind of give you a good framework. And what a framework is going to do is allow you to see what's there, the potential. And then there's a lot of other subsets that we go into, obviously, uh, when we go through training and, and so forth. So the benefits of Mind Force is to become a controller. How to do it, right? Learn that control is power. When I, when I say become a controller, I want you to become a controller of your own life. You see, it's not important that you control others. However, that's a possibility. Uh, very persuasive people, individuals that have very good skills, perception skills, can control people. I mean, obviously, we see it all the time in business leaders, politicians, celebrities, so on and so forth. And control is power, especially when you have it inside of your own mind body and spirit is it gives you a feeling of well-being which you just can't replicate or get anywhere else you're going to learn how to develop extreme confidence now do you know what confidence is confidence is merely the ability to pull something off that's that's what confidence is so you are confident in something you might be confident in a uh, technical skill, you might be confident in sports, you might be confident in business, you might be confident uh, in, in being a mother or a father, student, whatever the case might be, but you have confidence somewhere. And I'm going to show you how you can develop extreme confidence. Not only extreme confidence, but extreme confidence in new areas. And learn how to cut the time that it takes to learn certain skills. It's a step-by-step -step process. Boldness and confidence are the keys to everything in life. I want you to be able to create the confidence factor, which means in any situation you go into, you feel confident. How to always have a bold and confident attitude, because again, that, that attitude precedes you when you go into any situation, and I want you to be confident no matter what happens. Now, we're also, also going to show you how to remove bad habits and create good ones. You see, these are done through advanced programming methods. Again, mind force is that, that, that entire process of your mental being, and I'm going to kind of scale out exactly what I mean by that in just a moment. I want to discover the, the simplicity of the transformation expectation method, which is a method that I devised that allows you to be able to take one habit and put it on pause and insert a new one there. Okay, it's a step-by-step -step method just like everything that I teach. And that's kind of the, that's kind of the key with what I teach is that I want to make things super easy. I want methods that work, techniques that work. So you're going to find that I've done the best I could to remove all of the extraneous information that doesn't matter, and I've only left the real meat of what's going to get you successful. Now, there's six cornerstones of Mind Force, and we're going to go into detail on each one of these as much as we can in the limited time that we have here, is there's Mind Force Quantum Qigong, also known as Qi Power. There's Mind Force Hypnotic Influence, Mind Force Attraction, Mind Force Meditation, Mind Force Psychic Energy and Intuition, and then Mind Force Healing Methods. These six cornerstones are what comprises the system. And of course, there's a lot of other subsets that go into these systems. And I'm going to show you exactly how these all fit together. Because when I first got started doing this, I had no concept of how all, of, all of these types of concepts could actually fit together. Because I started off learning these types of techniques from the standpoint of an external martial artist. So I was used to physically kicking and punching. And so internal concepts really did not, um, they just didn't equate to me. But I'm going to show you exactly how this works and how these all work together.
What you're seeing here is the mind force um, framework. This is the framework. And what you're going to notice is you're going to notice that there's gears. And mind force I have as the top gear. And the reason I have mind force as the, as the, the top gear is because mind force, your mind, your mental aspects of what you're doing, rules everything else. Everything else fits together like gears. If you remove one of these gears, you're not in a complete system. And that's what this is showing. So mind force is kind of that, that beginning phase. You've got to get your mind straight. And up top, you see hypnotic influence. And then as we go down through mind force, we see quantum qigong. And that's physical. But see, quantum qigong is not only physical, it's also mental and spiritual. Although oftentimes most people start out from that physical standpoint, just like I did. I started out doing qigong, qi power, and uh, the mental aspects I never got into until I started doing physical exercises. And still I, until I started feeling a physical representation of my qi energy, I never went to the next level. That's okay if you are already past that level because we can move you right along in the system. So the physical also has esoteric meditations. And when I say esoteric meditations, I talk about things that are above and beyond a standard meditation practice. And I'll go into more detail on that even in a later video of the number one secret to, to meditation. And then you've got psychic power. So psychic power, again, as you're moving along this continuum, this framework, you've got psychic power. Psychic power is is a spiritual and a mind force technique, but it ties into the spiritual essence. Healing methods, same thing, mental, physical, and spiritual. So again, everything revolves. And then laws of attraction are primarily a mindset and also tied into the spirit. So as you look at these six cornerstones and you see how they revolve around this gear, it allows you to be able to see that you can fit in no matter where you come in. So, for example, one of the biggest questions that people ask me is, where do I start? How do I get started in this? Well, it really comes down to this. What are you interested in? If you come looking at hypnotic influence, you want to persuade, you want to be able to use your words to uh, influence people, then you start with hypnotic influence. And as that starts to build, then maybe you migrate into some of the other aspects. If you're more physical and you're looking for more vitality, health, and empowerment, then the qi gong, the quantum qi gong, qi power, that's the way to start, no question about it. And then if you've already got some, some qi built up and you want to get into a more uh, a meditative method that's going to work for you, that's going to be customized for you, then you, you jump into meditation first if you've maybe you've never done meditation. Psychic power, uh, that's certainly a way to jump in if that's something that you really want to do. Okay, or maybe you've already had some glimpses of that and you want to jump in and then healing obviously is something that, you know, you can certainly get involved in and healing is inter interesting because it, it can take all aspects physical. So physical healing can be touch uh, uh, mental healing could be using your mind to heal somebody and then you got your spiritual healing. Okay, through the through the thoughts suggestions, prayers of other people. So I want you to look at this framework because this really is the cheat sheet. You take a look at this and you say, okay, where do I want to start? Laws of attraction, you want to learn to attract things. Well, guess what? The laws of attraction, you can start there. However, as you learn everything, your laws of attraction skills will get even more profoundly stronger. And that's, that's really a cool thing. So what is a mind force specialist? I talk about becoming a mind force specialist. The mind force specialist is someone who's in the process of mastering the total skill set. And I'm going to take us some time to go through some interesting pieces of those different cornerstones that we just talked about. And so mind force specialist skills or the skills are broken down into subsets. As I mentioned, chi energy, quantum chi going, hypnotic influence, psychic energy development, esoteric meditation, mastery, triad attraction, magnification, and then healing methods. So let's talk a little bit more about that and see what makes sense in terms of exactly what this is. So we've got quantum qigong, valuable skills of the quantum qigong qi power practitioner is we're going to teach you how to build up massive amounts of physical qi. So this is a physical program. Okay, it's not a intense physical exercise, but it's something you can do. It's, it's high impact. 
or I'm sorry, it's low impact, so you don't have to worry about hurting yourself. And you're going to build a massive storehouse of physical chi so that you can then do chi manipulation. We're also going to show you how to develop uh, yin and yang chi. So yin is the more relaxed chi. Yang is a little bit more powerful, a little more stronger. And if you don't have both of those in line, you're not fully complete in terms of your energy body. And then manipulation skills comes down to taking the uh, chi energy and learning how to emit it, em emit it as a physical form. And if you see my chi palm test video, you can fill that form. Well, you can magnify that form hundreds and thousands of times greater than that. And then the next thing is healing with chi, is being able to take that energy and heal others with it. Again, that's an advanced concept, and you need some time to, to get good at that. But guess what? Everyone comes with some type of skill set. And so, so I've had some people that come in that were naturally good at healing. And so I didn't really have to teach them much. I just had to kind of steer them in a path, and they got really good. And then really probably the main thing with, with quantum qigong, qi power, is cultivating health, vitality, and internal power. That's really, that's the key. I mean, if you don't have health, you don't have vitality, then all these other things don't really matter, right? So that's really what you want to do is you want to build up that physical chi body. When I say physical chi body, I mean being able to influence your organs, your breathing, the blood flow through a very interesting series of exercises that we do. And this all comes down to the Chi Power Blueprint System. That's the best place to start. You're going to learn Chi Power methods. For over 20 years, the Chi Power Blueprint System is the premier Chi Power training system in the world. There's no question about it. Thousands of satisfied customers from all over the world. Really a fantastic uh, introductory training system. And even if you're advanced, it's a great system as well. Hypnotic Influence is valuable skills of the master persuader and influencer. And... We cover this from many different aspects. We obviously cover it from the standpoint of hypnosis. How do you hypnotize somebody with power? Covert hypnosis. How do you do it without them even knowing? Self-hypnosis. This is, again, another important thing, is how do you influence yourself? Again, how do you become a controller? How do you become super confident? It becomes through self-hypnosis. And then using hypnotic abundance methods. Again, similar to self-hypnosis, except tweaking it and twisting it so that you can have an abundant mindset. And that your mindset is just like that of somebody that's ultra wealthy. Very key. And then subliminal messaging. Again, this tie, these things tie together. How do you do subliminal messaging? There's keys to it. It's not just listening to a track over and over again. I can promise you that. And then if you want to take your skills to the next level, it's really persuasion. Learning how to become an expert in the actual art of persuasion. Hypnotic influence, covert persuasion. It's, it's really awesome stuff. So let me talk to you about something very unique that I teach in the course. This is kind of a little tidbit. As, as, and, and again, you can learn this right now and start using it immediately. And that is the power of your eyes. Most people don't realize the power of the eyes and that the eyes hold immense power. It's the, it's the reason why if you look at, um, you know, texts from years ago, hundreds of years ago, you know, occult texts and different esoteric training, you always see the eyes, right? You see the third eye, but your eyes hold power. They shoot energy out of them. We'll teach you how to do that. But I'm going to show you a real quick technique that you can use right now to prove it for yourself. You don't need to believe me. I want you to prove it for yourself is I want you to look in the mirror at your eyes and I want you to just stare at yourself and just focus on your eyes inside of that mirror for as long as you can until everything vanishes around you except for that focus. That is the beginning of the power of your eyes. Now you can take that focus and use it like a laser beam in many of the things that you want to do in your life. And I can promise you that it's going to work beautifully for you. This is just one technique that you can practice and get excellent results with right now. Without having to take any courses, buying anything, you can do that right now. Once the seminar is done, obviously, wait. <laughs> uh, and that's the Mind Force Hypnotic Influence Program. Let me just shut this phone off. This is the... Uh, the challenges of having all the technology, right? So you'll learn controller methods with the Mind Force um, closed door system. 
Concepts contained in closed-door hypnosis files act as a guide to becoming a powerful controlling force for both yourself and others. Just a, a great system that I created years ago. Psychic energy development. It's actually one of the one of the most interesting concepts that I teach. And I'll tell you a little story about psychic energy develop is that when I first got started in this, I had no interest in psychic energy development whatsoever. I mean, it was like the furthest thing from my mind. I had no interest in it. But see, as I started doing my research, as I started doing my training in physical chi training, I noticed one thing, that as I developed my chi, my perception skills started to be enhanced. So my psychic perception started to increase. And I started to perceive things a little differently than I did before. And I started thinking, well, this is interesting. So I did more research, did more meditation, and it started opening up to, to where I, my psychic intuition, where I never paid attention to my psychic intuition, all of a sudden was blossoming. And I was getting awesome results using that, even though I was really not interested in it. Even things like precognition, knowing things before they happen. Mind reading. I mean, this sounds crazy. And mind reading is, is a hard thing to explain because it's not like reading somebody's mind and you get an exact concept, right? I mean, sometimes you might get an actual word they scream it at you or something like that. But mind reading is getting a feeling. It's usually in a picture format. And once you learn, and I'll teach you how to do this, is once you learn how to put those pictures together, you start to be able to, to kind of mind read. There's several different levels to it. Uh, there's also mind-to-mind -mind communication where I can actually communicate directly to you and influence you. I know, that sounds crazy. Uh, I, I wouldn't believe it if I didn't experience it and have hundreds of, of clients and customers experience the same thing. It's a lot of times not what you think, but it's certainly something that, uh, that, that is just awesome to get good at. And in clairvoyance, is, is, a, is a power that you can also do by training. Again, these are all skills that you can learn. These are all skills that you can hone down. Quite frankly, everyone has these skills already inside of their mind, body, and spirit. You had them as a kid. To, to what extent, I don't know because I don't know you, but you had them. And it's just really a matter of creating a super sensitivity and awareness that you've never had before. Now, how do you do that? You do that by not only understanding psychic techniques and understanding how it connects, but it's also in the physical representation of that chi energy. By moving that energy around and building it up, it allows you to break through some of these, these, um, these blockades that you've created in your mind and body over the years where you can actually feel these things again. That comes through physical chi, comes through meditation, and it comes through understanding very specific techniques and how they work. So I'm also going to help you to create sensitivity and perception skills, as I mentioned. Unlock mind secrets not readily known. Now, how do I know that? Because I've been doing this for over 20 years, and every year, I would say every year, my learning goes up exponentially. You'll learn simple methods to increase your psychic self. So you might be at point A, we're going to take you to point Z, hopefully, or point B. You can jump off the train whenever you want. You're going to learn how to control all of your decisions by intuition. It'll be nice when you have that intuition in your head. And if you ever heard of women's intuition, many of you that are uh, watching this and listening to this might be a female, you've heard of women's intuition. Well, it's true. Well, men have intuition too. It's just a matter of honing in on it. The reason why women hone in on it so well is because they've been told about women's intuition. <coughs> just need to get a drink of water. So you'll learn this through mind force, psychic energy. You'll naturally become perceptive and sensitive to all things around you. And, and it really makes you feel so much better in the world that you can really feel things a lot better. You're more alive than you've ever been because now you have more interpretations of what's going on. You're going to learn specialized secret technologies that work like magic. They're not magic, but they work like it. Now, we're also going to do uh, esoteric meditation mastery. And these are really the secrets of the masters. You've heard of monks. You've heard of people that have, have done these, these meditations. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to demystify the entire process of meditation and customize it and custom fit it directly to you. I'm not going to make you uh, get into some crazy posture. 
because what I'm going to teach is controlled relaxation. Meditation is about relaxation. Once you get uh, a controlled relaxation system, then you're going to be able to do uh, things like lucid dreaming. You may be able to do out of body experiences, remote viewing, and then stillness or dead body training. These are all concepts that I'm going to teach you and allow you to get the benefits from it. These are things that you can use in every aspect of your, of your life, not just a mind force aspect, but everything that you do. And that's really the key. Now, mind force meditation is getting your body and mind to a powerful state of relaxation and subtle energy. I do this with many uh, guided meditations, many different sounds, many different uh, musical tracks, many different uh, binary binaural beats and, and different things like that. When combined with self-hypnosis, you create a synergistic effect. So you can see that, just think of that gear. You should probably print that gear out so that you can see exactly what it is that you have there. Uh, that's kind of like your cheat sheet for the mind force system. You're also going to teach you super attraction skills. Now everybody wants super effective law of attraction strategies. It's probably one of the biggest questions that I get is uh, somebody says, hey, I've studied the law of attraction and it really doesn't work. It doesn't work for me. It doesn't make sense. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to demystify it for you. I'm going to show you exactly how at least I interpret the laws of attraction. I call them laws of attraction because there's no one law. You know, you have to build up this method of, again, focus on that gear. You've got to have all things working in tandem in order to get excellent results. Now, there's going to be some people that can create great mental imagery and create a, a beautiful mind machine. And I'm going to teach you how to develop a mind machine that you can use for attraction purposes. Uh, you can use this for attracting health, wealth, relationships. You're already attracting already. You've already, you've been doing it your entire life. But now what you have to do is you have to understand how it's been working. Now, some of you have been pushing away attraction. Okay. So you're like a magnet. You're either attracting or you're pushing away. Many people push away attraction. They push people away. They push money away. They push jobs away. You got to learn to open up, bring it in. There's also different things like sexual attraction techniques how to become lucky and creating the magneto of attraction. That's what I call the course magneto and attracting abundance. There are secrets to the secret. If you've seen the movie, the secret, it's a great, great movie, but they didn't really go into great detail on how, to, how that works. Right. I'm going to teach you how to transmit attracting thoughts and I'm going to give you a simple focus technique that will attract 50% more than other methods that are out there. Now, let me just give you a quick uh, attracting technique right now that you can use. And I want you to test it out because my whole thing is about testing. My thing is about giving you techniques that you can try out and test them out. It's not just, oh, do this and then that happens. It's test it out for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Don't ever take anybody's word for it when it comes to esoteric training. You take it, you test it out in yourself. That's what I've been doing for years. My students have been doing the same thing. And you see what works, what doesn't work. And you do like what Bruce Lee says. You take what's useful and you use it. And everything that is not useful, useless, you throw it out. And that's, that's what we're going to talk about here. Now, uh, you want to be able to transmit attracting thoughts. Now, here's the thing. Is you can only have one type of thought in your mind at the same time. So if you have a negative thought in your mind this is not going to work, then whatever you're doing is not going to work. So you have to keep in your mind at all times the thought you want. And that is how you're going to be able to transmit attracting thoughts. Now, how are you going to do that? How do you stop the negative thoughts from coming in? It's, 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 it's virtually almost impossible, right? Because negative thoughts come in our mind every single day. I'm going to teach you a real quick technique that works like gangbusters. It's called a block technique. I learned it many, many years ago, and it's designed so that you can defend yourself against the negative thoughts. And I've been doing this for years. It works great. Anytime a negative thought comes into my head, I just say to myself, block, block it out. And I imagine a couple different things. I imagine a big steel wall coming up in my mind and that negative thought just bouncing off of it. Okay. That's, that's the way I do it. I call it a block. And it just dissipates, disappears. And if there's a lot of negative thoughts, they're just bouncing off. 
Once that wall is set, then you go back into a framework. Again, this is a technique I want you to start trying. You physically say it first, block, block, block. Somebody gives you negative, block it. And visualize that negative thought coming into your mind and, and picture that wall going up in your mind and blocking out that negative thought, that negative energy. You can use the same thing for energy. That's just one technique you can try. That, that's one technique of probably hundreds throughout all the different systems that are here. So that's mind force attraction. Discover methods on how to specifically attract what you desire. High level projection techniques that guarantee results. Now, what's unique about uh, mind force attraction magneto method is that I don't just talk about you know, using your mind. Mind force obviously is a big part of it, but it's also taking physical representations of the energy. Now, obviously, you need to do the chi training and do some meditation in order to get really good at physical representations. But there is a physicalness to your chi. Like I said, you can emit your chi, you can feel it. And I want you to know that you can take this physical representation of the chi and you can send it out to work for you, to attract for you. By the same token, it's a double-edged sword. So if you're sending out negative energy, you're going to get negative results. So again, that's why we need to keep the mind as positive as possible. Very cool techniques. I know that if you try it, you're going to absolutely love it. And then the last is healing methods. How to become a healer. Uh, energetic healing methods, which obviously starts with the quantum qigong, qigong training. That goes into our inner circle program. Uh, we go into a lot more detail uh, through the years of the quantum qigong system. And uh, that's some very powerful stuff. Uh, physical healing, you can learn that as simple as uh, using our pressure points courses, but also physical touch healing. Uh, obviously, mental mind force healing spiritual healing, and then emotional healing. Now, these are all things that you can try on yourself first and then use it with others. Again, anytime it comes to these types of techniques, I want you to test them. I want you to try them out. Now, does that mean that you're going to go out and say, oh, I can heal you know, somebody's ailments? In the beginning, I would probably say test it. Try it. Test it out. Because even Jesus couldn't heal in his own town. What that means is negative is so much stronger than positive that if you try healing techniques in a negative environment, oftentimes you get negative results if your chi, your energy, is not as strong as that negativity. I've seen it happen many, many times. I've also seen the exact opposite. Where you get a framework where everyone is on the same page, it's kind of like a prayer circle, and they're believing that something's going to happen positive. And it does. And you can... You can put that healing under any of the buckets, physical, mental, spiritual, emotional. Works if you work it. So where's the best place to start? The best place for you to start is to identify the esoteric skills you want to learn the most. Okay? Now, that means go back to that uh, framework that I showed you which with all the gears and then the six cornerstones. Where do you want to start? A lot of times people will start in a certain area. Chi power. They want to start in the physical. That's the way I started some people want to start meditation. Some people want to start with psychic energy. Others want to start with hypnotic influence. So you need to determine that up front. Now, you might want to decide to study the entire system first or learn a little bit, a little bit about, oh, that's the best place. To, I mean, that's a good place to start. That's where a lot of people start. We got the Mind Force Master System, which is obviously the immersion of everything. Tons of training, lots of videos, lots of audio files. It's going to take you a little while to digest everything. It really is, is an immersion of all the different concepts from every cornerstone in that wheel are contained in the master system. And it's a great program. For those of you that want to immerse yourself into a system that works and get great results, that's a great way to go. And you can just look on this page below and you'll see some links to uh, where you can get more information about that. And then the next thing is the Mind Force Library of Books. That's really uh, one of the best places to start because it's very cost effective, it's inexpensive, and you get a lot of great uh, bonuses, videos, audios. If you go through the, the Mind Force Library of Books and you're lucky enough to get access to the distilled learning system that I provide in, in, in some of this, uh, it allows you a framework, an even better frame, not a better framework, but a framework how you can use these books, these manuals to get awesome results with the Mind Force framework. So I thought this would be a great um, way to share with you some concepts, some methods. A lot of times people ask me, where do I start? It's so, there's so much here. Where do I start? Those are your 
answers. Hopefully, I've answered those for you. If you have any other questions, please feel free to uh, send me your questions via email. Uh, contact my support desk. You can find them on this website somewhere because this video could be populated to several different websites of mine. So there's, there's a contact point somewhere. Uh, it might even be a phone number that you can call. But anyway, I've enjoyed sharing this information with you. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day. So long.